Uh, this was definitely not in the brochure. Police in Mexico are now looking for bandits who robbed 22 Carnival Cruise passengers as they were actually taking a day trip. Now, no one was hurt, but as John Blackstone reports, it is yet another black eye for the cruise industry. When the Carnival Splendor docked at Long Beach this weekend, passengers got off with a memorable, if unpleasant, vacation story. An encounter with a masked gunman. He said in Spanish he wanted everything he had. So one fellow pulled his money out of his wallet and he said, no, I want everything, backpacks and all. Whatever they had on them, passports, um, cash, whatever was in their backpacks. Judy Frank from Utah was among the 22 passengers who left the ship to hike a nature trail. He had his gun brandished up here and then he brought it down and he pulled up his shirt to show the knife. When the gunman wasn't looking, Frank snapped his picture. I was really scared, to be honest with you, but at the same time, I was a little angry because we're just out minding our business, enjoying the day. In a statement, the cruise line said, Carnival sincerely apologizes to its guests for this very unfortunate and disturbing event. Carnival also owns Costa Cruise Lines and is still recovering from the sinking of the Costa Concordia off the coast of Italy, which killed 32 passengers. More than 22 million tourists visit Mexico every year. And Mexico has an image problem, too. It has recently been combating worries about visitor safety with a series of commercials featuring enthusiastic returning tourists. It's totally safe. And then I thought, you know, try to be calm, try to be cool. But there's a much different message coming from one tourist's unusual vacation photo. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone in San Francisco. With us now, CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg. Peter, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. So what do you make of this? Well, you know what? It is an isolated incident, but it does differ because when you take a look at most port cities, whether it's Venice or New Orleans, Fort Lauderdale, or anywhere else like Puerto Vallarta, when you have thousands of passengers going in and out, you're always going to have an incident of some street crime, some petty theft, some purse snatching. But this is a more organized, uh, well, it was a planned event. And there was no security with them on this hike, but, but a guide. Should, should that be something that is revisited, and do you think it will be? Oh, it definitely will be. In an issue like this, the liability goes right to the cruise line, simply because while they sell the shore excursions directly to their passengers, then they subcontract out to local tour operators. The liability still rests with the cruise line. I would be very surprised if they didn't put at least one security person on every bus that leaves on a, on a shore excursion, not just in Mexico, but in Italy or anywhere else. Uh, Mexico is a country that's trying to get a lot of tourists to come in because of some, you know, some of the kinds of questions of violence they've had. What does this mean for them and what can they do? Well, believe it or not, they're expecting 52 million tourists this year, uh, and, and that number has not gone down. It's gone up. The only place where that number has gone down is North America, which means Americans who are a little bit afraid of going to Mexico. But keep in mind, if you actually look at the incidents, the number of incidents that have happened, the overwhelming statistics, the numbers are definitely in passengers' favor. Uh, it's not a problem for most Americans going to Mexico. You would think that the cruise lines would all want to somehow come together and figure out how they can improve their public image. Oh, listen, they're probably in that meeting as we're speaking. <laughs> Bottom line is, yes. if you, if they are. I mean, I mean, they've got to figure out a way around this simply because it's a very powerful image when someone takes a photograph of a gunman on a bus, uh, and they're going to have to deal with that. But once yeah. again, you have to put it in perspective about the number of incidents versus the number of passengers who are actually going to Mexico or anywhere else. So in terms of putting it in perspective, Peter, for someone who may have a cruise coming up in the near future, if they're thinking of taking a day excursion, is it something that they need to be concerned about? What should they ask the cruise operator? Basically, what kind of security you're providing on the bus? Where are we going? And you know what? The cruise lines are going to get ahead of the story, I guarantee you, because it's just too damaging for them not to. I would be very, very surprised, as I said before, if they don't start putting security people on those shore excursion buses. They have to. Peter, we hope you make your flight. <laughs> I'm going right now. Peter, Peter.